There are people around the world who own the most amazing animals. I love you These so pet much. owners I love, love their pets more than life itself. They're all like dogs. They wag their tails. They're near by everything. Yeah, it is supposed to be a relationship. It's always supposed to be a relationship. My name is Jason Kenzie, and as a photographer, I do everything I can to capture the images that makes my clients smile. My up close and personal encounters with these animals has taken me on some awesome adventures. And now I would like to share my stories with you. These are the Photo Warrior Chronicles. We we'll took a photo of this awesome bunch, including Joy and John. Okay, like right there. Yeah, that's perfect. Put your hand, <laughs> put your hand on his shoulder. <laughs> so we're on our way to Hotter Balloon. We have, I have a whole bunch of new friends back here. We go back, way back far back as the bus. So I'm here with Joy and Josh. Uh, John has owned the company since 2006, but he's been a commercial um, balloon pilot in BC for, um, since 1997. How often do you go up? I actually don't go up very often because most of our business is um, tourist rides and I uh, drive the chase truck. Okay, I'm gonna get into the balloon. Okay, so. Oh, do you know what you're gonna take them? This is our. This is our. Two hours, usually we're in the hour, hour and a half range. If you have any discomfort at any time, let me know. We'll see if we can address those issues. If you have any safety concerns you think I'm not aware of, let me know. Usually it comes on landing, you'll be going, uh, trees, house, power lines. And I'll tell you, we're gonna brush the trees, hop over the power lines, land in the front yard of the house. I didn't need my eyebrows. <laughs> Whenever you're in a basket close to the ground, keep your knees slightly bent. They'll act as shock absorbers if the wind shifts us. We have handles on the inside of the basket you can hold on to. You can hold on to the uprights, you can even hold on to the cross beams. What I ask you not to hold on to is my fuel lines or my ropes. My toys I don't share very well. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> This is so cool. I've always wanted to go into a hot air balloon. This is pretty amazing. And, and the rush, the slow rush. <laughs> the trickle of excitement. More line.
tree! <laughs> Back when I said the one tree in the field and you said we're going to hit it. Let go! We're going back up. We're going back up because uh, we're going to try another spot. John, that's awesome. We're in our second attempt. Okay, as soon as we're across that fence, I'll get you to drop the line. You want to do across the road? Across the road! We have neighbors running down the street because this big balloon just landed in the road. Welcome, you want to go balloon? It was amazing meeting John and Joy. You could tell in John's eyes that he really loved what he does with the balloons. I felt so safe with John because John knows exactly what he's doing. I wasn't scared one bit when I was up there in the balloon. Even though we hit a couple trees, didn't matter. It just added to the adventure. So get out, get off your couch, Contact John and Joy and experience an amazing ride. My name is Jason Kenzie and this is Life Through My Lens. That's my whole concern. Yeah, so this is <laughs> doesn't always happen uh, every day, but uh, you know it makes for some excitement. This has been awesome. This, this day couldn't get any better. It's definitely better to have some excitement like this. As much as ballooning is very romantic and you know docile in the air and you know and then at the end of the balloon ride you have a little bit of action a little bit of drama it's, yeah because I wasn't scared one bit and I'm terrified of heights terrified so everybody if you ever want to go ballooning come to John and Joy's hot air balloon ride because every day is a little bit of excitement I'm Jason Kenzie and this is life through my lens Okay, <laughs> That's not funny.